Hello my friends, my name is Cozy and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. On whatever day this episode comes out, I brought a gift. It is Cran Greek Yogurt Cranberry Bites. Uh, it is just a gift for me, so I apologize. But if you want to go to the store and get yourself some of these Greek Yogurt Cranberry Bites, real quick, you can pause the video, go get some, come back. It'll be a good time. It's like we'll be sharing them. So we just got inside this lighthouse looked it up <clears throat> it's looking like we have about half an hour of the game left so we're gonna finish this up today it seems to have happened upon old King Milton if whoops clicked out of the game someone was a regular old artist up here uh that's white paint what the f Okay, I know y'all couldn't see that, but, um, Omen Gaming Hub just decided to open. Milton Finch in the Magic Paintbrush. Ooh, do I get to paint a picture? I would like that a lot. I'm hoping that the, um, noise gate is gonna block out the sounds of me eating. So, fingers crossed. I'm, I'm hungry, okay? I'm snackish. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, you can go faster. A chew. What a talented lad. Did he make a Did I see that right? Did he make a flip book inside of a flip book? Hold on, sorry. Maybe not. Maybe that's not what I saw. Well, that was fantastic. That's all we have to say about that. <laughs> okay. This family seems to have a track record of living shorter and shorter lives with each successive iteration. And I don't think that's generally what families shoot for. But I could be wrong. searching for my brother. And she sealed the doors. Oh. I see, with the legendary white paint. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Ugh. Oh, again, I won't harp on this because I said it in the last episode, but man. This, seeing that shipwreck way out there, all the places I've come, coming up the mountain, love that shit. I love that so much. Um. So we just came out of there, yes? Sorry, I forget there's no sprint button in this game, but that's okay. It's not a game meant to be rushed. This Mom game... definitely blamed Edie, but... I think Lewis blamed himself. Aww. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Hey, well that's cool. Everyone Lu always told me to stay out of Lewis's room. <laughs> except Lewis. <laughs> yeah. Look in all peepholes and telescopes long enough to do something, bro. This guy. This is the guy. Lewis is a fucking real one. Um, can I... Alright. I don't... I try, I'm trying not to miss things. I think there's a few things I've missed already. So I like to be thorough. As thorough as possible without wasting too much time. Going in through the windshield on this one. Hell yeah. Lewis's room smelled very... <laughs> Very familiar. <laughs> that part of him lived on. Hell yeah, bro. I think we got some fresh still in here, man. Like, this door was sealed. If that if that window was airlocked, that's not what I wanted to do. But that window was airlocked. We could have had a... This bitch could be airtight, you know what I'm saying? Might have some goods left. Anyway. This guy's a real one. Also... I dig the chill, psychedelic music, bro. This is right on. This is where I'd stay. Can you imagine tripping balls, having this kind of elevation, and like half a boat attached to a house? That'd be a good-ass good time. Vaughn Finch. 
What did that say? Greater Seattle Institute of Psychology. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, oh. I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Yeah, that'll do it. Wait, hold on. He kept working at the cannon. Get out there. But he withdrew part of himself. Mm-hmm. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... Yeah, give me that. Give me that. Wonder. Oh. Whoa, man. Yeah, I'm multitasking. Yeah, I'm multitasking. Slap that bitch into my hand. I got I this. Him to describe it. He said he started small. Whoops. Imagining a labyrinth. Yeah, I mean, I would too. If this was eight hours of my day every day, are you kidding me? Feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. Toads? Whoa, and bro. Things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. Grody. But he took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. This is but awesome. He found something more. Ah. Sight of grace lit. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. Oh no. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Oh man. Come on, Lewis. Let's keep like these fingies. Let's keep these fingies tucked. So I let him go on. I even encouraged him. Yeah, well, you know. It seemed very promising at first. Oh, we got the tip on that one. Shit, hold up. He told me he'd made a new friend. Hell yeah, little boy! That's awesome. Can I get to that campfire? I don't On think so. On the edge so. of a city he named Lewis Topia. Holy fuck. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Can I go in here? No, I don't think so. Then he made musicians. What a talented lad. And songs for them to play. Now this shit's pretty lit. He talked about starting a band. This looks like a game I would play. If they made a full game of this, hell oh, yeah. Something. Every day his imagination grew stronger. Okay, we're celebrating the decapitated no fish. That's cool. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Yeah, that's what and I'm worried about. All the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Oh, well, unless it's go outside the bounds, I guess. He held an election for men. <laughs> and he won. Wow! They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Oh boy, hold on. Let me get a fucking cranberry real quick. These things are not healthy snacks, by the way. Just want y'all to know. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. 
I only bought them because they were two for one at Publix, and I was hungry when I bought them. You Lewis. Hell yeah! It's like AC Valhalla. St. Louis. He started drifting away from our reality. Watch out, watch out. I'm barreling through, baby. I got places to conquer. Ooh, shit. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Um, sorry, Mom, I am very much not here. You might want to call the In cops, Lewis, man. He heard rumors of a beautiful prince. Beautiful prince. Yes. Whoops, 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 whoops. What of this prince? The prince was on his own quest for... Sinister serpents. He's after Jormungandr. Sinister serpents. Whoa! Oh shit, slain, Bubba. Can't even worry about it. Under the first, under the second. He followed the sound of his... Oh, electric guitar, baby. If we're gonna make this weird, we're gonna make it... Oh, electric sitar. Electric sitar. Sorry. Uh-oh. I'm supposed to actually be touching him. Sorry, I'm denying this. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Okay. Even then, his logic remained sound. Hey, I can't see things anymore. I I'm not feeling comfortable. He knew the world was all in his imagination. But he was so proud of having created it. Oh. I can't go in? Oh, I can go in. It's my imagination. In I can do whatever eyes, I want. He'd become something greater than a king. Wow. My man is stacked up. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. Yes, my empire. My imagination my is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. <laughs> we have a mini door next to the big doors. Whoa. I am a king, baby. L.P. Brown cannery. Began to forget the world we know. But what about my Kush, man? And my fucking big, whatever that is, gaming console. My legalized the marijuanas, bro. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah, I can see how uh, after I living. I think him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Yeah. After imagining that all day and having to, you know, come back to reality, that shit's never fun, bro. Never fun. But, um... He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Oh, yeah? Is the boss going in the chopper? Hey, bubs. What doing? Uh... Big dog. You're missing the fish. Um. There we go. No, I can help you out with that. Here, bud. Is that me? That might be me. Sorry, I got very turned around there for a second. I didn't know what was going on. I still thought I could save him. That is a lot of fish. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Yeah. 
the palace would be packed with his companions. I like that dude. The big green guy. Yeah, bro, this is a lot more fun than a fucking fish shop. I can see why I wanted to be here more often. Including the wise calico who insisted on advising him. Like a cat? Hell yeah, baby. Men. His prince waited, holding his crown. My prince? Holding my crown? Hell yeah! There was only one thing left to do. Put on the crown, right? Okay. Yep. Easy enough. I trust you, my prince. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. It was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Maybe. Maybe there is such a thing as smoking too much. Okay? I'll say it. That would be an example. Homeboy, among other things, obviously serious psychological condition. In that case, the drugs, this stuff, probably not a good idea. And that is very tragic. So let's just go ahead and hop out of here. We're not having any more of the cool sitar music. So I am just going to see myself out. And um, I'll tell my kid how cool you were. Into the Sykes. On way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. Oh man. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. I wish we'd stayed. Yeah. Loving memory I of Lewis. I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Aww. Happy 90th birthday. To teach and to learn. Seven ways to create a fulfilling classroom. Oh! Written by Dawn Finch. Nice. What happened that night had been coming for a long time. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now was to tell you about that last night. Yeah, I was about to say, that's kind of been a central point so far, has it not? Whatever happened this mysterious last night before we left. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Eden, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Aw, man. Don't argue, bro. That's not cool. Just chill. I know the power had been shut off that morning, but 
Edie always had plenty of candles. Well, that's good. When my good. mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. <laughs> or that Edie had a key to it. Slick. you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. Oh, I mean, okay. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? Well, that's mean. So what about the stories? Do they become real? There's so many stories I wish I could tell you. But there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Hmm. Oh! Way, way out. Hey, you ain't kidding. We can go all the way out to that fucking it boat. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. Wow. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Uh huh. But I never thought I'd go back to it. Damn, bro, I'm way up there right now. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Uh oh, Grandma. I got turned around. Did I? I just, I was just walking straight. I had it in the bag. For a while, I wandered. Yeah? I started seeing things. Yeah. Sure did. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. When bed. I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things Whoa. I can't explain, but that I need you to try and- Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith. Mom. Mom, you're gonna rip it. Let go. Fuck off. I'm holding it. I kicked and uh, screamed, but... Mom. Mom dragged me to the car. Come off it. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Aw, oh, man. I was reading a story, the Mom. This morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. Not. Not fucking cool. We both tried to make the best of it. Hey! Ooh, yeah! I would say this is making the best of it. This is a fantastic pastime. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. Aww. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Aww. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. The 
the last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Is this a birth this canal? This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you. And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now... Oh, no. This didn't work out that way. Damn. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. Damn. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. Oh, shit, man. Sorry, was that just like 18? 99 to 17, yeah. With those birth dates, he was almost 18. Holy shit, dude. The story by Giant Sparrow. Wow. Well, for Shirley Dallas. Aw, oh, 1948 to 2013. Aw, oh, man. Ian Dallas, creative director. Okay. Well, what a great little story. A lot of tragedy. Um, you start the game thinking you're kind of just going through a, um, like a collection of finish all stories. Oh, shit, look at that. I got everything. How about that? Fucking baby in the sink. Ugh. Yeah, so you start the game just kind of thinking, you know, not really knowing what to expect. At least I didn't, you know, I don't, I've heard of What Remains of Edith Finch, but I never got to, uh, I never looked into it or anything. And for the kind of game it is, you know, in the art style, there's some things, like, out of left field, I'm gonna hit hard, like, I don't remember their names, I apologize, but like, the kid in the tub, and the uh, kid on the swing, I mean, really, all of them, like, all of them, well, not all of them, but most of them died so young, including Edith Finch, the fucking protagonist. Wow, well done. Good game. Good game. Good little story. A little slice of... A little strange slice of life, you know? And I like that kind of shit. Let's see if there's anything, uh... After the credits. Aww. The end. Well... Good shit. Good stuff. A replay of story option and I'll be- Oh! Select Edith to play from the beginning. Cool. Oh, I guess you just select? Yeah. Well, good stuff. All right. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed that game, uh, watching that game as much as I enjoyed playing it. Fantastic little time. As always, thank you very, very much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. May the gods lead us on our path to peace and love. And until next we meet, my friends, farewell. Farewell.